Hi, welcome to the Just Tech Me at YouTube channel. This video is part of a group of videos that go over how I survived computer science. In this video, I will talk about what websites and YouTube channels helped me to survive computer networking. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. Your support will be greatly appreciated. Computer science is not an easy academic pathway. The courses are challenging for even the most astute of students. However, if you are disciplined in your study routine and arm yourself with the best tools and resources, the path will be less rocky. I have gathered together a list of websites and YouTube channels that have helped me along the way. I will share them with you. I hope that you find them helpful. Computer networking is one of the required courses for the Computer Science Bachelors of Science program offered at my college. The course covered the following topics, networking fundamentals, network standards and models, protocols, architecture, topologies, network media and devices, transmission control protocol, internet protocol. Wait, there's more. Network Services and Service Fundamentals, Enterprise Networking Services, Wireless, Remote, and Wide Area Network, Network Security, and finally Network Management. While I don't provide resources for each and every topic, I do provide resources for some of the most critical topics. I will list a topic and then provide the website or YouTube channel that helped me to digest the information. Okay. Well, let's get started. OSI Model Wikipedia provides a very detailed review of the OSI Model. Major subtopics under the model can be further reviewed via the internal and external links provided by Wikipedia. The difference between physical and logical topology. Geeks for Geeks does a phenomenal job of providing a comparative analysis of different concepts. The website often provides helpful charts and illustrations. For that reason, Geeks for Geeks is recommended. The difference between OSI and TCP, IP reference model. Tutorials Point, Guru 99, and Javit Point are all websites and are recommended for this topic. OSI Model Transport Layer versus Networking Layer By L. Dung on Computer Science is recommended. The web address is provided for you here. Token Ring Wikipedia is recommended for token ring. Like the OSI model, Wikipedia gave the best review of the networking technology. Network Protocols Check out Geeks for Geeks. It not only covers TCP, IP but it also explains which devices are used on each layer of the TCP, IP protocol. It does a good job at covering bridges, gateways, routers, repeaters, hubs, switches, and routers. 
Finally, it addresses the differences between the devices as well as the advantages and the disadvantages of each device. Client Server and Peer-to-Peer -peer Networks Geeks for Geeks will help you to not only understand each network configuration but also see the differences between the two. The website offers great comparative charts. I would be remiss not to mention a tried and true YouTuber, Network Chuck. His YouTube channel focuses on computer networks and provides broad real-world understanding of networks. As part of his video offerings, Network Chuck has on his channel, a free CCNA review course. It covers a multitude of topics. Among them are the TCP, IP and OSI models, the OSI models application and transport layers in greater detail what a router is, what a switch is, wide area networks, and much much more. Check out the channel. Now, here are some study techniques that I use for all of my classes. In addition to completing the assigned questions, study all terms provided at the end of each chapter. Don't ignore illustrations and charts. Create your own charts. Incorporate charts into your assignment submission so that you can have study aids in one place. Search online for free flashcards. Utilize YouTube to reinforce concepts. Buy the textbook and not the ebook. Let's go over these study tips one by one. Vocabulary it is probably obvious, but you should be sure to study all terminology introduced in each chapter. Highlight terms and concepts that are not easy for you to understand. Pay close attention to terms that seem similar by definition and try to make clear distinctions between the terms. Make use of Wikipedia. I have oftentimes found it to be a big help in giving me a clear point of reference. Illustrations and Charts Never overlook illustrations and charts found in the textbook. They typically tell a more comprehensive story of the subject matter than you would gather if you only read the paragraph text itself. From them you can quickly perform comparative analysis between concepts. Since most people rely heavily on their visual senses, they are likely to recall information presented on a chart or as part of an illustration when tested. Illustrations and charts found in the textbook are gold mines because they contain invaluable information that someone else has already dug out and organized for you. Create your own visual aids. Keeping in line with the previous tip, whenever necessary, create your own charts to fill gaps in your understanding. Once you create them, they will become a gold mine for upcoming tests and exams. Fortify homework submissions and retain organization. Make sure that your homework submissions are worthy of being used to study for tests and exams. Incorporate things like resource citations, images, and charts. I talked about illustrations and charts in a previous tip. Images and charts can be downloaded or scanned from books into a digital object. Just be sure to provide citations for them. This tip will not only improve your grade but it will help you organize both your thoughts and your class materials. It will prove to be life-saving when it is time to study for exams. Trust me, a well-organized homework submission printed out for exam study is a treasure. Just add your professor's markups post-grading and it's easy sailing from there.
flashcards. Search for free online flashcards. There are a few reputable websites offering online flashcards for various topics. Check out Chegg and Quizlet. Both offer flashcards and are considered to be reputable educational websites. YouTube This is a tip that I could not have done without. YouTube IT YouTubers are very smart and very helpful. They range from being college professors to being tech students to being very very highly skilled professionals without degrees. All bring to the table a wealth of knowledge and wisdom. They will help you to fortify your understanding. Watch as many as needed to fully grasp concepts. Remember to cite them in homework submissions. Textbooks I never buy electronic books also known as e-books. For me, having a paper format book is essential to the learning process. I strongly believe that touching and seeing a textbook helps you to get a sense of the task at hand. Things like How thick is the book? How large is the print? How many centimeters thick is the chapter I'm about to read? I need to take these into my senses. Secondly, highlighting, annotating, and flipping back and forth within a chapter and across chapters is for me a much easier process with print than with an ebook. For these reasons, I never use ebooks. I prefer printed course materials. I would recommend the same to you. Okay, other than those tips, I would just encourage you to be diligent and consistent in your studies. Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please like and subscribe. Your support is greatly appreciated. This YouTube channel offers various other programming videos and tech-related content. Please feel free to browse the channel. You can also visit the website posted here for additional tech content.